Hi all, good afternoon. This is Seth from Smithy Technologies and today we would be seeing SQL inter interview queries for ETL developers, data engineers like big data developers, etc. Also BI developers. Let's start with the first scenario. I have a document prepared and in this first scenario, what we are trying to achieve, write a SQL query to get the below mentioned output from the data given below. So in interviews, they would be providing you with some data or with some rough values and they would be asking you I want the output how would you demonstrate your SQL skills to them whenever the interview whenever in the interview you have been presented with the data first try to analyze and understand the input and output let's analyze the input and output over here I can see three columns that is student number subject marks same student number I can see in the output but I do not see subject and marks if you see there are six rows in my input whereas I have only two rows in my output and if you closely observe the subject column I have multiple subjects like maths English and science that are being converted into columns so after a little bit of digging into the data or analyzing the data I came to know that this is the problem which I can achieve with a solution of converting rows to columns so these rows needs to be converted to my columns now to convert rows into columns I have a couple of methods which I know that is first is case method and the second is pivot method I'll be demonstrating both the examples in this scenario let's prepare the data first I have the DDLs created. Let's copy this and go to your respective SQL developer, Toad, etc. Table is created and let's insert the data into that table. Okay, so it's done. Let's preview the data. Select all from scenario. This is my first one. This is the data which has been given as an input and we need to achieve as an output. Let's start with the first method that is a case method. Okay, so I would be picking my student underscore number column. Then I would be writing my case statement. Case when subject equals to maths. When subject is max then I want marks and I would be ending this and, uh, and let's give a alias name as maths I would be just seeing one column if I'm getting that I'll just replicate the second and third from my table name is scenario underscore table one and uh, that's fine let's see what it gives so I can see one two and i'm able to get the output as well but if you see i am getting all the six rows i don't want all the six rows i want one ten and i want two ten because in the output i have only two rows so i would be using a aggregate function max and here i'll do a group by on student underscore number let's hit the query again so we are closer to the output Let's copy this and paste it twice. So when subject equals to max, then when subject equals to science and English, so name the alias columns as well with the respective column name which you want. Now this looks good to me and let's hit the query. So can you see the output? So the rows are converted into columns. Let's go over here. Can you see this? So this is the first method. Let's try to hit the second method and that is pivot method. Now pivot method is very easy. And in pivot method, what we need to take care of is which column we are converting into rows. So here I'm converting my subject column into rows let's start select all from 
what is my table name my table name is scenario underscore p1 let's write a pivot method pivot and okay so in pivot we have a one column so always you need to remember on which column we are trying to convert into row so that is subject which i have identified and as if you see in while doing a pivot we need aggregation like max min sum count so here i would be using max of column now so max of max and we need to write a for clause over here for the which column we have identified we have identified the column as subject so let's write maths as maths let's see first column only if we are getting the output yes we are getting the output like earlier we did and let's copy this and replicate into science and english so this would be science let's copy this paste this this would be english let's copy this and paste this let's execute the query can you see the output so the same output we are getting with the pivot method let's execute the pivot method and let's execute the case method so both are giving me the same solution so this is the first scenario for uh, my upcoming tutorial stay tuned for the next scenario this is Sev signing off take care and bye